Vinny, do you think being a dickhead aids in making art in some way? Well, Liam doesn't really write songs. He just sings them. So, not really. I don't think you have to be an asshole to write good songs. Welcome to Resident Evil once again. I'll write this image. Well, hang on a minute. There's another image that I wanted to uh, pull up as well. So this game, this game is good. Resident Evil. I didn't mean to do new game. That's incorrect. That's totally incorrect. Back. 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 So. Yeah, I've been enjoying this playthrough. I've only streamed it one time before. I mean, one, you know, other stream session. I've never actually streamed this game. Okay, that took way too long to get to the load screen. Vinny, this is why I can't appreciate mu music as much, because once I find out someone is a cunt, I don't enjoy their stuff anymore. Any advice on that? Fair enough. I mean, art from artists and all that, but I, I ask you, I pose the question, have you ever been a cunt in your life to anyone? And if the answer is yes, would you still want someone to appreciate something you've created? So. Anyway, to lighten the mood as we get started with Resident Evil, um, someone made this... I don't know who made this. I think it was Chalmers in chat. It's uh, Arnold smoking a stogie on Mars and getting the cookies. That's all I hear in my head when I see this image. Alright. We are ready to begin. Remember, last time I played this, I had a plan. And the plan was to get the damn shotgun. Alright, so we're gonna put that away. I got the armor key. I've got some stuff. I got some ammo. Let's see how we're doing with health. Vinny, a lot of those artists had fucked up childhoods. Yeah, I mean, the more you read about the people that you, you know, respect in music, a lot of them, not all, of course, but a lot of, a lot of them had some kind of fucked up issues growing up, and, you know, there are, as you can tell just by looking around you, there are not a lot of well-adjusted adults. I mean, there are, yes, but, no, couple that with fame and people watching everything you do. And, um, that's when you turn into a, a Liam or Noel Gallagher. So. But, you know, a lot of people grew up in fucked up circumstances. A lot of people don't know how to handle their issues properly. It's just not everyone has a microscope on them at all times. Oh, and, um... The other thing I was going to say was, yeah, it's not, and not every famous person or artist is fucked up. Sometimes they just, you know, they're just okay. They're, they're adjusted. If a room, chat, if a room is red. Does that mean that there's still an item in here? Okay, so we we know what that does. Old-fashioned gramophone. Okay, well, I got it. It was just to read the book. Vinny, the fucked up ones are easier to notice, too. Yeah, that's true. And people like to talk about drama. And if, if someone is, like, squeaky you know, clean and quiet, you don't really hear about them, and it's less talked about. 
Look at Paul Rudd. Dude's just like a fun-loving guy who... I mean, I don't know anything about Paul Rudd, but I... I don't hear any... Like, he seems like he's well-adjusted. He just likes to slap his knees and, and scream ants. And load up Celery Man and see himself nude. I don't know if I'm going the right way for the shotgun. Can I get to the shot? Richard, what the happened? Who the fuck are you? You're wounded. This whole place is a killing zone. There are monsters. What did this to you? A big snake, and it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. <laughs> bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. I need the serum. Vinny, it's timed you can save him. Alright, serum is... All the way over there, though. This sounds like Metroid music. mouse appear on the screen. Richard, I couldn't find a serum, but I've got some nice medical herbs. Medicinal herbs. They're organic, yeah, just rub them in the wound. Tame Impala just announced a new album. It comes out in 2020. Well, I knew they were doing a new album. Uh, they released two songs from it. Uh, I assume two songs from the album this year. Someone wrote Tame Lame Impala. That is... You could have just said Lame Impala. So, wait a minute, what's the name of the album? They got a name for that thing yet? Oh, this is the wrong way! Swiss Cheese. Currents 2. <laughs> the Slow Rush? Oh, that's okay. The Slow Rush. To the head. The slow rush of blood to the head. Chat, is it in here? Where, where is it? To the left of the box. Oh, there it is. Oh. Coldplay announced a double album coming out next month. That's- that's gonna be a hard pass for me, dog. You know, I- I liked Coldplay up until... that breakup album that Chris Martin released. 
I'm going to say Chris Martin released it. Um, I liked, and again, I didn't love them, but I liked Viva La Vida, and I liked the Rush of Blood to the Head. And uh, then, I don't know, they released, Coldplay released this album. It was about how he broke up with someone. I think it was Gwyneth Paltrow. And the whole album was just like, I want you back, baby. Please come back, baby. Didn't work. Where's this homie? This homie's up upstairs, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, even so, a good song is a good song, and if they put out an album that has a couple good songs on it, I'm sure that would be just fine. I thought another band had an album coming out in like a... Here I don't remember. I'm gonna give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill. Here's my radio. Take it. Kanye's I'm releasing his Jesus is King album. Does it ever not hurt? You'll be all right, dude. I'm okay. The others. Let's see. Again, just trying to... I want to get that shotgun before I make too much more progress. Oh, he's got a massive arm. No? No, we don't. We don't want to go this way. It's kind of amazing how... Close to the Resident Evil formula, uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake got. Like, it got... It did a really good job at retaining the feel of Resident Evil. And I guess I knew that, but having... Now playing this game... I think, um... You know, I think I just appreciate what it did a whole lot more. Okay, so we have to go around. It's um, kind of a pain in the ass to get the shotgun right about now, but... Because that one door broke, which is just... Ugh. Vinny, did you see that the Gorillaz Twitter has been very active lately? I hope they put out a new album soon. Well, Damon said they had enough material for another album. And he's probably done with his good, the bad, the queen stuff. Almost. So, I would imagine... I mean, I don't think Blur is going to get back together anytime soon. So I could very easily see... another Gorillaz album out next year. Oh, you... you fuck! You tricked me! How dare you give me all the, the spicy keychain! If only Jill could do that to every zombie. You know, just step on their head. 
before there's a problem. Let's get a two for one, shall we? Burning down the house. Great value zombie repellent. Vinny, favorite Tolkien character. Tom Bombadil. Um, uh, usually, I love I love Gandalf. I don't want to go for any like obscure character because that's I don't know really know but you know a lot about them, and I don't want to be a Tolkien hipster. But. Glorfindel. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, yeah, I like book Faramir better than show than movie Faramir. There's a lot of great characters Tolkien has written. I, I mean, I love Gandalf. I love Aragorn. I love all the Hobbits, but especially book Frodo. Theo didn't. Yeah, they're all pretty great, aren't they? Let's see. Also a big fan of Aomir, but movie Aomir more because uh, Carl Urban. to use this key up entirely so I can get it out of my inventory. Who's your favorite Resident Evil character? Ah, Leon. Picture of a sage wearing a necklace. It's set in red stained glass. There's a switch here. I don't think they like that very much, do they? <laughs> this Jill is a really amazing shot. Ravens. 
my one weakness. Lisa protected by the three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. There's a switch at the bottom of the picture. Press it. A brace- okay, a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. Picture of you wearing a bracelet. No, it's an orange bracelet. Just search for a necklace. Red. So, I guess that's red. Maybe not orange, but red. Picture of a saint wearing a crown. It is set in yellow stained glass. God, how's my memory this fucking garbage? It's green. It's green, green crown, purple necklace, red armlet. Green, purple, orange. Yellow singlet. Necklace, green, purple. What? None of none of these colors match up. Oh. Very, 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 very dumb. I got this. Deep red. So wait, that's- that's double red. We don't want double red. Bracelet is supposed to be- okay, so this should be... Orange. Good. Okay, that's- that's correct. That's one. Green. Good. Oh, wait, maybe it should be deep red on the back, because then it would be purple. Purple. No, no, this is fine. Can you hear the clack of my button? Because this Xbox controller has got a clacky button. Let me see, the Switch Pro controller. Here's- tell me if you can hear the Switch Pro controller. Nope. You, it's very... It's like, kind of barely. This one is just like... Intense. Colonel, I'm trying to stream my video game. But the clack of my thick button it keeps alerting the chat. Oh, but the clack of my ass cheek. Thank you. Colonel. Do you think it's weird that the English language doesn't make any sense? Okay, so now I have another puzzle. It's French. It's lacking a mouth. I'm sure if I just leave this here, no one's gonna steal it. Oh, 
Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the overall concept here is pretty clear at this point, I'd say. Alright, I am going to... Probably, I gotta hit up an item room. And then I want to go visit my friend Keith, who was dying of poisonous snake venom. Where were you bit, Keith? M m my hog! Well, there's only, um... There's only one thing left to, to do now, Keith. What? What, Jill? Die. Cock injured. Alright. Okay, this isn't Dragon Quest. No one here is trying to get medical... ...attention from Serena. My, uh, Dragon Quest progress has been slow. It's kind of a little hard for me to play Dragon Quest. On the weekends in particular. But I am currently... I got the red key. I got all of the red doors. Uh, most of the red doors, I should say. I have to place some... stuff in that tiger's eyes, aren't I? How many hours in? Like, 36? You know, I just play it when I can, and I enjoy it, but I think... what am I up to now? Without spoiling, that's the thing. I don't want to do any overt spoilers. Like, I'm trying to be vague with my progress. So the people who have played it will know what I'm talking about, but I don't want to, like, ruin anything. So... Five of six, I think, is what I could say right now. Greetings! And also, uh, Seven of Nine? Of not <laughs> Nine? Of Seven of Nine? No, 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 no. She's in the Picard show. I think I have to place a blue gemstone into that lion. Seven Eleven? Why is it that whenever I go to a Seven Eleven, a crackhead hits me up for money? And then makes me feel guilty about it. It's like, hey, just take a dollar. Oh, I indulge. I indulge. As much as I can. If I don't have a dollar, I just say, listen, I only have a credit card. But it's weird. Yeah, 7-Eleven has just become... One of those places that I know if I go there, I should have a dollar handy. I already had a conversation on stream about the whole, you know, homeless thing where they, uh, there are people that make you... ...that, like, come at you, and they make you feel guilty if you don't give them, a, like, something, and it just turns into a hostile situation. Which can happen from time to time, and those aren't fun. But that was a conversation maybe like a week and a half, two weeks ago. So I'm not gonna do that again.
Vinny, you're the bad guy. That, that was, um, well, again, 99% of the chat was just like, yes, Vin, but there's always a couple people. It can be a dangerous thing. You don't know. You have to just kind of exercise caution. And, you know, generosity is nice. To a degree. Oh, quick thing. Give them food, not money. Well, that was the crux of one of the stories I told. Where the dude didn't want the food. Now, I had a, um, I got a shirt that I want to show everyone. And I want to see how many people actually, like, know exactly the reference. It's a good one. So I got this at the Alamo Draft House. I will show you just a second before we continue with the Resident Evil. And I just, I had to get it. It was just too good. Okay, one second. Here it is. I, I just had to grab it. No, don't save the scene. Here we go. Apply. And... It's not there. Amazing. Okay, good. But, but the stream is boring, please. I need to see the zombie to shoot. I'll be with you in just a second, my friend. This isn't as interesting as the cursed uh, tape, cassette tape, but... Alright, tell me if you get the reference. It's a double. Yeah, it's They Live, but there's another... There's another angle to this. Hang on a minute. The motherfucking Carpenters, the band, they're like, <laughs> a band I don't really care for, by the way, but yeah, it's just perfect. So, anyway, that was a pointless waste of your time, I'm aware of that, but I got a kick out of it, and I wanted to, I wanted to show off for a minute. Okay, thank you. For the indulgence. She was an amazing drummer. Yeah, the Carpenter's drummer was absolutely fucking beast. There's a video of her doing some amazing shit on the drums. Vinny, you didn't pause. Keith is dead now. Vinny, he g genuinely does die if you take too long. No, I gave him the stuff, didn't I? He's up there. I gave him the serum. He's good. 
Vinny, that was Richard. Are we getting the characters confused? There is no Keith. I lied. I forgot his name, so I called him Keith. Chat was telling me to save a character that didn't exist. I can- I love that, that's great. I just want to get whatever items are out here. You all got any of them, uh, healing? Oh shit. It's Keith. Forrest has given up the ghost. Looks like he's been dead for a while. Yes, I will take the grenade launcher. Oh man, there's the herbs. It's I guess there's really nothing I can do. My inventory is just full and I have to deal with it. Drop grenade launcher for herbs. I don't think you can do that. If I knew there were herbs over here, I would have... Fuck! Special zombie can't burn. I'm lazy, chat. this too. Well, this place is totally cleared out at least. Uh, wasted some shotgun shells. Vinny, I'm sorry, but your patient Richard Keith is currently dying. Maybe I called him Keith because Keith Richards. Maybe subconsciously I put the names together. Someone said, is it just me or is Vinny closer to the mic? Am I? Does my microphone sound different? The guy from Led Zeppelin? No, 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 no. <laughs> yes. Sling Dick? Oh man, the best worker around, Sling Dick. Fontano made a uh, video of a Led Zeppelin tier list, which I just skipped ahead and looked at his choices because I don't- I don't watch all of his stuff, but also... I don't really have much time. I didn't even watch the new Red Letter Media video. I haven't seen the new Always Sunny. I'm kind of behind, but... Fantano. 
And but I agreed with his choices, except I'd put Houses of the Holy a little bit higher. Um, here's what I'll say for anyone who likes Loop Soup. Physical Graffiti is my favorite album of theirs, so Fantano put that in S tier. And he also put Zeppelin IV in the S tier. And I agree with both of those. So very, very good. I like Anthony Fantano sometimes. Most of the time I like, I, I, you know, I respect his opinion. He knows more than I do, and he's also much more open-minded about music than I am. So, you know, I enjoy a video of his every now and then. Going in circles, you bet. This is now an item uh, management and inventory management game. He has some good bad. He has some good takes and bad takes. Well, by nature of us all being different human beings, we're all going to have good and bad takes to each other. I think. So yeah, I mean, I agree with that. I respect the way he can explain himself, though. Tree beard emote for getting lost when? I don't have a getting lost emote, do I? Vine, vine blind works. Yeah, that works. Okay. Um, should I take the shield with me? So I know where I'm going. I have to go back to the second floor. Uh, well, can I go up this way? I'm gonna go up this way first. Okay. You needed the herbicide for the plant tentacles. Okay. So yeah, the Zoop tier list was cool. I, I'd like to do a Bowie tier list. I've said this before, I said it just recently, but a lot of people made... Oh! oh, fuck this room! Why can't I shoot? Fucking suck. They stun lock you. Should have saved when I was in there last. God damn it. Okay, so that room is just terrible. So what was the stuff I did? Did I get the grenade launcher? No, I didn't even get the grenade launcher. I was like, oh, I don't need to save again. I just saved. Fuck. Off. Alright. I'm gonna get rid of that. Get rid of that. I'm gonna get the shotgun ammo now. 
I'll get the grenade launcher later. I don't really feel like going back in there. You were saying? Nah, I wasn't saying anything interesting. But... Yeah. Bowie something something? Yeah, that's- that's my usual. Though. There ain't nothing new about that. It's just, I'm at the point where I finally know all of his albums. Which took many years. Because I wasn't listening, like, one after the other, you know? So now that I know all of his work, I can finally do a decent overview of it. You gotta kill Forrest again, yeah. It's also really easy to get lost when the camera angle shifts. Oh, right here. Okay, that's the room. Vinny, do you feel like you lose a lot by not listening to the albums in the time period it was released? I think you... Yeah, you get a different perspective on something because... It's... I've talked about the Seinfeld effect. Where... If you watched Seinfeld when it first went on the air, it was a different experience than watching it now because every show has taken something from Seinfeld or you could use The Office as an example. I think The Office still holds up, but yeah. Um, it's not... People are confused. Okay. Yes, historical context of something could improve your experience of it. Like... I don't really know. Um, grunge and Nirvana seemed very, very important, and not at all edgy in the early 90s. And I'm sure not everyone felt that way, but it felt like a thing. There was a tangible, like, feeling to it. And, and that's the earliest I remember. So, that's one example that I can give you. Um, but no, I don't feel like you lose too much. I can still listen to, you know, Black Sabbath. I can still listen to Captain Beefheart. <laughs> I can still listen to Frank Zappa. Even though a lot of these dudes... ...were of their time, their music is still so fucking weird. Uh, another dude... Uh, well, another person, I would say... Like Tom Waits, I played one of his songs the other day. That music doesn't feel like it ages. Favorite GameCube game, Mr. Vinny. Mayro Sunshine, maybe? Skies of Arcadia. Legends. Oh, Resident Evil 4, right? That was in your door. Jesus Christ. Metroid Prime. Why would you ask me a question like that? What, what what are you trying to do to me? Why do you why do you want me to like malfunction? God damn it. I mean, good question. Very good question. Then you have Eternal Darkness and you have Wind Waker. 
I can't really answer that question. That's a tough one. It's too dark to see much of anything. Oh, this is a bad idea anyway. If, you know, if I'm lucky, I won't have to come back here, period. There are bullets in here. That's a good idea. I can't block it off again. It won't let me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... Saving Richard gets you a better shotgun. Really? Well, I saved him. The bastard. Shield emblem. Time to die. I could go back and try to get that grenade launcher. Um, there's some rooms over top right that I don't think I've been to. Save Kent and he gives you like three herbs. Kent is it? Okay. I have to save Kenneth. Frequency, Kenneth. Alright, I was in here, and I didn't solve this puzzle. Uh, check, can I die in here? Because I would very much like to not die. Kind of, yes. Great. There's something in this depression, but the grate is in the way and you can't reach it. Crazy. Woe to those who disturb my sleep. There's a switch here. Press it. No. The sleeping night. The sleeping night. The sleeping night.
Oh, you can push him twice. Oh! Seems to be a pattern here to this. Okay, that one's good. And then that one goes in. Okay, good. Alright. I think that should be good then. That was surprisingly scary. At every moment, I thought those- the knight was going to wake up and kill me. There's a switch. Will you press the switch? Yes. Nothing's happening. There's a switch. Will you press the switch? No, oh, I have to find the right switch. Okay, we got another mask. Musical score, the beginning and the last sections of the music are missing. It's just never easy with Resident Evil, is it? Vinny, it's not called Resident Ezil. Vinny, if Bowie's brain was turned into an AI that continues making original Bowie-esque music, would you be on board? No. No, I'm good on that. I don't think it's just the brain that makes the music either, but that's a whole conversation for another lifetime. Armor key. Large scratch in the wall. Doesn't look like the work of those rotting freaks. Someone just said, Dear Haunter. You get the hell out of my chat right now. That was pretty good, though. I like that. Oh, it's barreled. How'd you get in there? It was locked. Ah. Jill. Barry, I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. Anyway, you should read this. Researchers will. A letter is slipped inside. The top part of the letter is torn off, the rest of the letter is illegible. Alma, I have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delayed the inevitable. I am infected. There is no cure for what I will follow, for what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour, I'll have entered my eternal sleep, where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I'm sorry. Martin Crackhorn. What do you make of it? Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. You have a way with understatements. Where's the part that's... It's a hell of a name you got there, Crackhorn. Well, my only guess is that it was the most important part, and somebody didn't want anyone to see it. Let's continue our investigation. The water tank smells like something once lived in there. Perhaps someone was using it to raise some kind of creature. Really? The fish hook takes up a full inventory slot? Container is full of dead bugs. God 
damn it. God damn it. I need to replace the specimens, huh? Can we get Jill a backpack, please? I mean, then there's, like, there's games that have overkill for inventory, but let's, let's actually reason this out for a second. A lighter and a canteen. Okay. Small. Very small and very small. A fish hook. Minuscule. This is just paper. This is some herb and paper. Okay, the real stuff is the shotgun, so she's carrying that. And then there's definitely not a box of shells. She's got four shells, so she can keep the four shells in her pocket. The mask is the only thing taking up room. And if she had a backpack, she could carry all of this and double this. Now, I, again, I know that the container's here, I'm just, it was a bit, but I also really, genuinely, um, I love this game, and I love all Resident Evil, but, yeah, I don't, I, we don't, we don't need this level of going back and forth to boxes. Yeah, I don't really like Resident Evil 6, never mind, I take that back. I mean, played through all of it. Um, the piano. I don't know where the piano is. Six is fun, but it's not a good Resident Evil game. The problem... If I remember correctly, I streamed Resident Evil 6 when it first came out. And my memory is not the so good. But, I do remember that I felt like the game just went on for too long. It wasn't terrible at times, even though it was a dumb action game. If each chapter was, like, cut in half, it, it might have gone... I, I feel like I might have had a better impression of it. But I remember starting up the third chapter, being like, how is this game still ha still happening? Vinny, I didn't know you played the full thing. Yeah, unfortunately I did. Dead Space 3 and Resident Evil 6 feel similar. Came out the same time, too. Around the same time. I got it. Yeah, it took me a minute there, but... Again, I thought Resident Evil Revelations was a good return to form. 
even if it was closer to four than anywhere else in the series. Revelations. It, I don't know, it was just a good game. Oh, fuck off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Worse than zombies. It's a little bit of an overkill, don't you think, Jill? The Deer Haunter is an enemy from the horror level in Time Splitter's Future Perfect. Oh, right, it is! That's right. What? Do I have a... Future Perfect stream on full sauce? I don't believe I do. I have Time Splitters 2, and I streamed Future Perfect, like, probably before full sauce was a thing. Vinny, you missed a door in that room. Did I? Oh, I did. It's right there on the map. Well, if I ever get a chance to stream Time Splitters Future Perfect, I'd certainly consider it. But you know, I kind of want to hold out because we're apparently getting a remake of some kind. I don't think it's going to cover the single player. Keep holding out hope for a new time splitters. Someone took something and left in a hurry. There's also a mouse and keyboard hack for time splitters, really. If you emailed that to me, sometimes... Sometimes I really, um... I might check it out and then never see the email again as it gets swallowed... ...by the tide. The Cthulhu-like presence that is my inbox. There was also, I think you can do the mouse and keyboard hack for Metroid Prime. I think that got pretty good now. Do I have a separate folder for important emails? There's several, you know, several different folders that Gmail does for you, and then I star important emails, but sometimes it can be... It can be overwhelming. I'm still replying to like two, three hundred emails a week. Or reading through two, three hundred and replying to like half of that. It's still, it, like, it becomes a full time, not a full time, but it's like an, you know, I set aside several hours a week to do that. It might be two or three, but, um, you know, as a result of me keeping up with it, I might see a key for a game that I'm interested in. You know, I might get someone who sends me an interesting game I might not have known about. So it's- it's kind of worth it. Um, and then there's some stuff, like, I- Please don't email me pictures of yourself. I don't need to know what you look like. I know that sounds rude. But... Like, I don't- I don't need that. So we'll just go ahead and... Put that out there. You can say you like my streams. You can tell me that, you know, I like hearing from you all. I definitely enjoy when people are nice, and they want to say that they enjoy the streams. 
Don't need to know what you look like. Keep it professional. What about cat pictures? <laughs> I'm allergic to cats, and it turns out even looking at cats makes me break out in hives. So, you know, consider that, like, very closely and carefully. What about pet snails? Serious question. Is that a thing? People have pet snails. But what do they do? They eat fruit, they snail. <laughs> They're decorations you have to feed, similar to pet fish. I still don't think Captain Picard should have had a pet fish. Every time I watch Star Trek and I see that fish in his ready room, I'm like, that's... Who put that fish there? Data had a pet cat. Yeah, I mean, well, the cat had freedom. You know, the cat had access to the ship. Data learned from the cat. Data was good to the cat, but a fish is just in this tiny little tank. I don't know, I guess I feel like... I feel like it's a little bit different. Yes, he named the cat Spot. He even wrote a poem about his cat. Vinny, what do you think of pet crabs? Dagon would be very happy with pet crabs. Patrick Stewart was actually angry about the fish and said that Captain Picard would never enslave an animal. That's what made me... Like, when I read that interview where uh, Patrick Stewart said that, I was like, yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, why would he? Then he has started watching TNG recently. It's a pretty good show. Thanks for the suggestion. Hey... I'm glad you're enjoying it. Remember, it just starts off kind of shitty, but it definitely gets better. So, you know, stick with it. If you like what you see now, it just gets better. There's a section of the Enterprise-D called Cetacean Ops. It's dolphins and whales, no japes. The hell? They're part of the navigation crew? <laughs> what the hell? Vinny, do you ever miss any emails? I do, yes. Some get lost. I try my best, but... Around hour number one of going through emails... I... My brain starts to, like... Turn into mush. And I have to take a break. And then I'll come back. And sometimes I miss stuff, yes. You ever think about Tuvix from Voyager? Uh, like once a week.
All right. I wasted less ammo over here, at least, by dying later, which I would not recommend, but... <laughs> Vinny, what is your favorite breed of duck? Duck. I like just duck brand duck. White duck or duck with green head? Yes, duck. Favorite letter of the alphabet that isn't V or E. P. I missed something out there, didn't I? What did I miss? Oh, there was a dagger on the table. I want to get that. There's just a lot of busy work in this game. Which is one of the reasons I, I think it hasn't aged as well. I feel like you could still get the experience if you cut down half of the busy work. Purists will hate me. Purists hate him. You know, having grown up with Zelda 2... ...and loving Zelda 2, I understand why people like the things they like... ...in their video games. You get attached to a certain thing... The way it's presented. And that's it. You just like it for what it is. I'm sure there's a little more nuance to that, of course, but at the end of the day, I'm fine with the way Zelda 2 is. Warts and all. Vinny, what do you mean by busy work? Um, get item, go to box, put item in box. Go back to the other room, get that item, go back to box, put item in box, run back across the mansion, get item, get box, go to box, eat box. Oh wait. Yeah, it's fine if you want to. No judgment. And it's just, there's a lot of, like, chores that don't involve the spoopiness. I like the limited ammo and the limited amount of items that you can carry because that adds to the tension. But, it's just, um... I've been streaming this for an hour and a half, almost. And I haven't really accomplished much. Granted, I died. I did die once. Oh! <laughs> I God damn it. God, no. Fuck off. Dude. Run, Jill! I need to be in this hallway. How the fuck am I gonna... I gotta use a grenade.
still? Oh. Oh. You don't need to burn crimson zombies. When they die, they are really dead. Oh, here's the fucking piano. <sighs> Shame I couldn't keep that piece of paper in my back pocket or something. And you can move the shelf. Okay, that's good to know. I would have missed that. Now, you can't walk backwards, like, you can't backtrack while you're aiming in this game, right? things first. Get that. I'm gonna put the grenade launcher away. I'm still just gonna stick with the handgun. Even though crimson zombies, they just eat the handgun bullets. Just fucking eat them right up. No problem. At least the ribbons are mostly abundant. They're abundant. So we'll get to the piano. Bring the shield too. I feel like we've gone too far. I already opened two doors. Nothing. Okay, we're good. No, 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 I'm fine. I'm good. This is the voice of someone who is fine. <laughs> you can't see it, but I'm smiling.
not as bad as your mental breakdown in Dead Space 2 earlier. Yeah, I've, I've, um, had a lot of mental breakdowns, I think, in the past couple weeks from Spooptober and otherwise. DMC2 was the verge of mental collapse. How mind-numbingly boring that game was. Moonlight Sonata. Did Frank Sinatra ever cover Moonlight Sonata? And call it... Moonlight Sinatra? Oh wait, there's no vocals. Maybe he could have just like, did the thing... ...with his voice, you know, da da He just could have crooned the melody, I don't know. I'm not funny, chat. Stop pretending like I am. So Jill just knows how to play the piano and read sheet music. Can Chris do the same thing? No. Chris can't do that. Okay. Trevor's Diary. 1967. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all made sense now. There's only two people that know the secret of this mansion. Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? That doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family, I hope they're all right. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you are safe. November 26th. How could I get so careless? I've lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hop hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, is it, even if... Even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the, the men in lab coats said something like, Most likely your family is already... I pray for their safety. November 27. Somehow I managed to get out of that room, but getting out of this mansion won't be as easy. I have to get past all the booby traps. Tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try to remember for my own sake. Won't play with fire. Love, Jessica. Oh, shit. This is his lighter. But it says 1985 on it. And that was dated 1967. What? Well, I was born 1985, so... Thank God one of the chat members told me to take the emblem with me. I like that they replaced Jill's beret with a, a hat, a cap, in subsequent iterations of Jill. And even in this game, the other choice of Jill. Vinny, did you know there's an almost entirely finished Game Boy port, Game Boy Color port of Resident Evil 1 that was made by Capcom? 
Yeah, I've seen that. That's one of the most impressive Game Boy Color. That's one of the most impressive ports I've ever seen in my life. Just purely from the standpoint of how the fuck did they get Resident Evil on Game Boy Color? Don't know if I can do anything here at the moment. Still no. Vinny, I thought you were jocking. Wow. No jocks. GBC. Resident Evil. I want to show you a little bit of it, because it really is impressive, and I think the chat would get a kick out of it. If you haven't seen it, it's really... Um, Vinny, it wasn't close to complete. It was like four screens and three sprites worth. Stop Skeletons from Fighting did a video about it. Oh, okay. I'll have to watch that. I can return next that next stream with the proper information. But, essentially, it looks like this. So they tried to do the whole pre-rendered thing, and... Let's see... Yep. Well, it's more than four screens. You can download it, it is close to finished. Okay, well that- that contradicts with the previous information. But yeah, it's just kind of cool. It, it, don't get me wrong, this is the worst way to play Resident Evil. But... It's kind of fucking cool that they put the work into this. Jill looks like a bodybuilder. Like a fucking Greek Adonis in some of these angles, but... There's that scene. Just skip ahead a little bit. Just to check out some of the other scenes. This, I mean, the angle here is a little bizarre. Kind of looks like Barry's laying down. But, yeah, no, that's a lot more than four screens. I'll have to watch that Skeletons video and see what, what's up with that, but... I am always fascinated by... Games that don't belong on certain hardware. Ports in general. You've heard me talk about this if you watch my streams a lot, but you know that I'm interested in... ...games that are ported over to less powerful systems and done really, really well. Max Payne on GBA. Uh, Tony Hawk 2 on GBA, which launched with the GBA, which had... ...a weird mix of sprites and 3D, and it was actually really good. The Witcher 3, apparently, yeah, I mean, um, I think it was Digital Foundry, but some work was done to, uh, like, they, they hacked into it or something, and they managed to turn off this, um, like, aliasing and sharpen it up a bit, and it looked a lot better. So apparently The Witcher 3 on Switch has this anti-aliasing, like, kind of blur around the edges. Which doesn't do it any favors. And if you turn that off, if you find a way to get rid of that, it looks pretty good. Not great, it's still gonna be not great, but... Modern Vintage Gaming hacked it? Oh. My favorite room. Can you do a Conqueror's Bad Fur Day stream? I did. If you go to YouTube and type Vine Sauce, Conquer, you'll probably find it. 
Sorry, Vinny. I furnished you with bad informations. I was thinking of Res 2 on the GBA. It's okay. We all have bad informations until we have good informations. It's just how willing are we to let go of the bad informations. We must furnish ourselves with the good informations. If you want to live in the information zone. Nope. Speaking of furnishing, uh, I don't know what the fuck to do now. The fireplace? Herbicide? I don't know where any of that is. Maybe I can get a little, uh... Hint? Take the emblem to the fireplace. That's all well and good, but where the fuck is the fireplace again? First floor, right corner. The dining room where the blood was. Oh, right in the beginning. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. I thought you meant the fireplace that created the map. Two fireplaces and one bathroom, yeah. It's pretty weird. When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. Looks like you can turn the gears inside the clock, yes. Turn which gear? And the two have run each other through. Shield armor and sword decorations, right? Two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight, while the long sword has pierced the head of the other. Fucking hell, that was kind of... Okay. It's a good hint. Okay, new key acquired. Nuki. <laughs> Nuki acquired. I'm Red Letter Media now. I have 48,000 copies of Nuki on my shelf. Well, there's a the whole fuckload of other rooms I could access, and I'm gonna just check them out real quick. I mean, we're winding down, the stream is coming to an end. It's late. But... 
That's a helmet. God, if only there was a item box next to the bottom typewriter, that would save me some time. Sorry, I know I shouldn't be... <laughs> I shouldn't be asking for things. Outer Worlds has made the time just vanish. Really? Is that good? Octagonal indentations to the left of the door. Okay, I have one of those indentations. So we're making progress, got some of the death masks, um... Got... another key. Things are going well. Use bottom right box and save. There... bottom right box? What do you mean, bottom right box? Oh, you mean, well, upper left is the only one nearby. Maybe there's a new one that I could get. I thought... I thought maybe that key would take me to a, a closer... ...item box, but let's continue. I'm assuming if you do the even higher waste of points, you screenshot them... ...and then you put it up on your fridge, you, you print it out. But, you know, that's been... we've had, like, well over a dozen even higher wastes, probably even more than that. Just wait until I get the million waste up. It's weird that people still save up to do a thing, even if they know they will get nothing. Like, what if I told you I'm going to implement a one million point waste... ...that will also have absolutely no reward? Clout. Now, Clout is a pretty cool Final Fantasy villain, or a hero, rather. But is he worth wasting that many points over? Alright, well, today was a day of suffering. Thank you for watching. Both Devil May Cry 2, which I can't believe I can actually even say that, and Resident Evil. Speaking of, here's some music for Resident Evil. Someone just showed me this picture. This is not part of the art guru. This is just a picture that was found online in regards to the conversation we had earlier about the dolphin division of Starfleet. Fun. Cool.